What's good, y'all? I'm Anthony, aka Adana the PA's husband. Welcome to her channel. If you're new here, to go ahead and take a look around her channel after this video. If you like what you see, subscribe for more PA related content. Uh, my wife is a physician assistant, where on this channel she creates PA related content as well as gives you an inside look at the life of a PA. In addition to that, she actually recently launched Get That C University, which is an online platform designed to help you get into and get through PA school. So be sure to check that out in the link in the description box below. Actually, today's video is an excerpt from that site. Uh, this is mock interviews. If you want more of this kind of content, it's only exclusively on Get That C University. So go ahead and hit that link, become a member today. Uh, but today's video, you guys, is really, really cool. It's exciting. You're actually gonna get to see a mock interview from a, a, a student. And uh, in this interview, you'll see the whole video all the way through. You'll get a chance to look at them, examine them, see what you liked and didn't like. And then Adana actually is gonna get on and do it immediately following that. And she does a reaction to that mock interview, which is cool because she's never seen the mock interviews before. So I produced the video, my company produced the video, and then we allowed Adana to sit down and actually watch the reaction to it live to give you guys raw feedback. So it was really, really cool. This is just one of many other videos on the platform. So if you like what you see today, be sure to go to getthatstuniversity.com and watch some more of that stuff. All right, I'm done. I'm talking enough, you guys. Enjoy this. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, do all that good YouTube stuff, all right? I'm out. Peace. Welcome to GTCU and welcome to your mock interview masterclass. I want you to get some pen and paper right now because what you're going to do is watch this interview by yourself uninterrupted so you can take some notes. And then immediately following, I will join you on the screen to watch the interview with you for my very first time. Now you're gonna get my raw reactions to this and although these interviews are carried out in person, a lot of what is addressed in the interviews can be translated to the virtual forum. So please be sure to take notes. I have been prefaced by the producers that the interviewees are going to try to shake the interviewer's hand. So we're gonna see that throughout the course of this masterclass, um, but the interviewer is going to reject that. So think about right now how you would handle that situation if you went in for the handshake but you didn't get it. All right, let's have some fun. Hi, good morning. Let's go ahead and take a seat, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Well, good morning. Good morning. How was your trip in this morning? Um, it was good. I didn't have any problems. Great, great. All right, we're well, going to get started, and uh, Dina's going to start with some questions, okay? Okay. What does the term PA mean to you, and why do you want to become one? Um, well, I've had a lot of time to think about why I wanted to become a physician's assistant. Um, actually, in middle school, we had treats, and I took allied health all the way from middle school through high school. And I had a lot of time to think about what I would want to do, and I think physician's assistant is perfect for me because like, you're not locked into one specialty and it will give me the opportunity to continue to grow and learn and work with other medical professionals. What do you do outside of your work? Uh, well, my passion is photography, and that's what I mainly do. Uh, sometimes I do it for money, mostly I do it because I just love it. Uh, how many tests and quizzes would you expect to take during a typical week? Um, maybe about four to six. Okay. And how do you plan to pay for your education? Um, well, uh, I had a lot of time to think about that as well. Uh, me and my family, we uh, look for sponsors. I have grants, scholarships, um, so I don't have to take out any loans for the moment. Hmm. What would you consider your biggest weakness? Um, my biggest weakness, I would say, is being a perfectionist, maybe. Uh, I like to do things and I like to do it well because it's a representation of me, uh, but sometimes I can get carried away and it can take away from my actual focus. What will you do if you don't get into this program this year? Try again next year. I'm very dedicated and I'm committed and I don't give up. Great. Thank you. 
Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Hi, good morning. I'll go ahead and take a seat, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. That was good. She handled good that morning. well. Good morning. How was your trip in this morning? Um, It was good. I didn't have any problems. Great, great. All right, we'll go ahead and get started, and uh, Dina's going to start with some questions. Okay. okay. Don't. One thing first and foremost, okay, you guys, it, like, I know we have this desire to like be relaxed and comfortable and that is fine, but do not rock in your chair, okay? Don't rock in your chair, don't spin in your chair, don't do any of that. Just be in the pocket, like be in the moment. You can do like power hands if you like. However, whatever keeps you in this, this space of this is my interview, I'm serious about this, do that. Because being like, you know, the rocking, all of that, that's distracting. And also like, it's a little bit too lax. I'm just saying, just heads up. The term PA mean to you, and why do you want to become one? Um, well, I've had a lot of time to think about why I wanted to become a physician's assistant. Um, actually, in middle school, we had treats, and I took Ella Health all the way from middle school to high school. And I had a lot of time to think about what I would want to do, and I think physician's assistant is perfect for me because, like, you're not locked into one specialty. And it will give me the opportunity to continue to grow and learn and work with other medical professionals. So I wasn't sure if she was saying physician's assistant or physician assistant, but I really liked her answer. Like barring that aspect of thing, I did really like the answer that, hey, you know what? I've had a lot of time to think about this and this career is for me. So she liked that. She knew about the career and she likes essentially what most PAs like the flexibility of the career. So this is great. This was a very to the point answer. And I mean, she handled that well. What do you do outside of your work? Uh, well, my passion is photography. And that's what I mainly do. Uh, sometimes I do it for money. Mostly I do it because I just love it. That's cool. Uh, how many tests and quizzes would you expect to take during a typical week? Um, maybe about four to six. Okay. And how do you plan to pay for your education? Um, well, uh, I had a lot of time to think about that as well. Um, me and my family, we uh, look for sponsors. I have grants, scholarships, um, so I don't have to take out any loans for the moment. Okay, girl. I like this, you know, so initially like she does come out. She's like very serious, which is cool It can be cool, but what I would suggest is smiling a little bit more, right? You know, like you want to like feel you want them to feel like you're excited to be here You're grateful for the opportunity to interview and you know, you're a pleasant and happy person so definitely smile more but I like the fact that this interviewee is showing that she is a planner you know she's thought about this she's planned by herself but also with her family on how she will pay for pa school she's not waiting for pa school to start or for her to get accepted before she figures out all right you know what i need a grant i need this i need a sponsor no she's planned this out already which is amazing and the fact that she wouldn't have to take out a loan even better, okay, nobody wants a school loan, so that would be great, actually. Hmm. What would you consider your biggest weakness? Um, my biggest weakness, I would say, is being a perfectionist, maybe. Uh, I, like to do things. I like to do it well because it's a representation of me. Uh, but sometimes I can get carried away and it can take away from my actual focus. What will you do if you don't get into this program this year? Try again next year. All right, all right. I see you. That's how you do it. Immediately, no hesitation, no nothing. I'll try again next year because this is for me. I think she could have added that, you know, like this career is for me and I know that I am meant to be a PA. So I will try and try again until I get in. That would have been a great answer to that. Like 
addition to it, but what she did and how quickly she did it, that's exactly, that surety that she had is exactly what you should have in these interviews. I'm very dedicated and I'm committed and I don't give up. Yes, she got it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. That is it. Have a good day. She had it, y'all. She did it. She did that. She doesn't give up. And so, I mean, that's what I addressed initially. I didn't watch the rest of it <laughs> at first, but she did go back to it and she like cleaned it up and said, look, I'm dedicated. This is for me. I'm going to do it. So I think that was great. She ended that super strong. Like literally all I remember from this interview is that she is a planner and that if she doesn't get in, she's going to try again because she's dedicated. She wants this. And that is really the impression that you want to give these interviewers throughout your interview. Okay. So great job. Kudos to her. I really like this particular interview. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me on today's masterclass. I'll see you next class.